morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we've got a booster box of Temporal Forces to open. And this is rather important, because Temporal Forces isn't actually out for, well, two weeks. Two weeks today, Temporal Forces comes out, so shout out to the lovely folks at Pokemon for sending me this booster box. This box was gifted by the lovely folks at the Pokemon Company International. They are very kind, they are very nice, so this box was sent to me by them, and you've all been informed, and everything's above board. Pre-releases start tomorrow, so this is my pre-pre-release Temporal Forces booster box. <laughs> And I've said this many times, but I love, I love it when I finally get to open a new set. Because, like, you, you all see the videos, hopefully, that I do on this channel, right? And, you know, it's literally everything from Japanese set reveal through Japanese card reveals. Look how beautiful it looks all done. This reminds me of going into shops as a kid and looking at all the cards. And, like, so I go from Japanese reveal through the, um, you know, through the whole Japanese uh, reveal process... And then the English set reveal. And then the English reveal process and pre-order guides and everything else. I make so many videos about the set. But when the set finally actually launches and I get to actually open the cards, it is beyond wonderful. So, let's see if we can get some cool cards. Chases, we're going to get free artwork rares part of the box. We always do. I really, really want the Litten. Yukimori Minchino, love it. I really want the Litten and the Excadrill. And, oh, this is like a legit card. Land Collapse. This is a mill deck in Japan. It is one of the top decks in the format. This is genuinely a legitimate deck. Probably super cheap to build as well. Uh, we've got Morty's Conviction, Solosis, and a lovely Kato Melmetal. Awesome. I love it when it's Kato artwork like that. Because I don't even need to... Like, I realised that was Kato before I remembered it was Kato. Because I just love Kato artwork. It's very distinct. I love it. Well, the Kato does have two styles. So, um, yeah. And obviously, the special illustration rare Paradox Pokemon. The Free Future and the Free Ancient. I'm obviously not going to get all of them in my box. That would be weird. But any of them that I can get would be amazing. So, nothing really in the first pack. But maybe we can get some cool stuff moving forward. There's going to be some cool stuff, surely. And I've not seen... Many people post booster box openings of this set, so I'm going to be getting it online as fast as I possibly can. Also, did you notice I've been using the... Oh, there's something cool in this box. We'll talk more about something else in a minute. What have we got? 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 Oh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? It is Terra Wug Trio EX. Nice. Very cool card. Uh, yeah, so you may have noticed I have uh, changed up my playmat a bit. I've been using the same kind of generic playmat for a while for like every opening. And I've realized lately that's a bit dumb. And I have like a bazillion playmats. So from now on, I'm going to be changing up my playmats, theming them a little bit to go along with whatever opening I happen to be doing. And given that this is a paradox set, it seemed only right to have a paradox Pokemon on there. Uh, might as well start getting rid of the energy as well. I like getting basic energy in a pack, but I, I do have quite a lot. This Drillber, legit love this Drillber. Adore that Drillber. Let's you just discard free fighting energy from your deck. Really good. There's Iron Valiant. Hey, it's Reverse Hollow Iron Valiant. And it matches my playmat beautifully. Uh, and then we've got a Reverse Hollow Salvatore. And then a Hollow Iron Thorns. Nice. Oh, I do like pulling the Reverse Hollow Iron Valiant. In a, in a box opening where um, we're using an Iron Valiant playmat. That makes me very, very happy indeed. Right, there's your code card. There's your energy. What we got? Azamaral? Lovely. Have you all noticed my Munchlax hoodie? So look, it's got Munchlax all over it. My, um, my son, he's two next week. He's two on Thursday. And I got a sitting cutie Munchlax. Oh, this is a really good Chinchino. 70 damage, free special energy attached to it. Oh, Roaring Moon. Love this. Oh, there's too many cards I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, so the Chinchino is really good with Lugia. Good to get all that special energy on. Won Japan, uh, won Japan uh, Champions League there a couple of weeks ago. It was a really big deal. Really cool card. Uh, and Roaring Moon does 70 plus 10 for each 
uh, ancient card in your discard pile. It is exactly my kind of card. I've built around those kind of cards like Vesper Gwen, for instance, many, many times in the past. One of my best results ever was with a Flareon that was a very similar kind of thing. See, I went to a Pokemon Sleep uh, preview event a while back, and I got a Munchlax sitting cutie. Unlike so many, because I have a lot, a lot of Pokemon uh, teddies in my house. So they all kind of get thrown in a pile, and the kids have them, and it's fine. And what happened was, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Ooh, full art walking wake. That'll do nicely. Oh, I like this. I like this very much indeed. That is a lovely card. Of course, I've been very clear on the fact that Raging Bolt's my dude, but the Walking Wake is cool. So yeah, so I got a, a Munchback Sitting Cutie at a, at a Pokemon event. It was in a little goodie bag they gave us, and it just got added to the pile of random Pokemon toys. And they get played with and used and all of that. Kids love them. I've got a few kind of please don't touch some children toys for obvious reasons. You know, really nice ones I've imported from Japan and such. But a lot of the random Pokemon teddies I've got essentially go to the kids and they can do with them as they like. And every so often, one of them is just a hit. And that's what happened with the Munchlax. My not quite two-year-old son one day just randomly decided, all of a sudden, as you'd have done to us, that Munchlax was his dude. And now, everywhere he goes, he takes his Munchlax. When he goes to bed, he's got his Munchlax. When he goes for his nap, he's got his Munchlax. When he goes to Nana's house, he takes his Munchlax. When we go out in the car. So, with him being a gigantic Munchlax fan randomly I, I did what i always do when one of my kid loves a particular pokemon i went and searched on the uk and the u.s excuse me the uk and the japan pokemon center and on the japan pokemon center i found a different munchlax teddy i have ordered it for his birthday it will be here just before oh okacheke turtwig check out the art on the okacheke turtwig love that and on the uk pokemon center i found this munchlax hoodie i have half a dozen pokemon hoodies I did not need another Pokemon hoodie. Oh. Oh, Drampa. And there's her alligator. I actually pulled this in one of my Japanese boxes as well. So now I have the Drampa in English and Japanese. That's one of our three. The only real clear um, pull rates we seem to get in English boxes is free illustration rares per box. And now, like, every time I'm going out, I go to grab a hoodie... And my two-year-old son, bearing in mind, he's, he's not full talking yet. You know, he he's, says a bunch of words and he'll start stringing them together. But he's not full talking. He's not quite two. And I'll go to grab a hoodie and he'll go, Munchlax hoodie. Munchlax hoodie. And he'll keep shouting Munchlax hoodie at me until I select the Munchlax hoodie. As a fun little... Oh, no, I broke it. Love the art. This is a Hyganosuke Finizen. Adorable card. Love it. Uh, as a little uh, appendix to that. Oh, and a Kato Boltund. There is some lovely art in this set by my favourite artists. Uh, as a fun little addendum. Ooh, Fluttermane. That is, of course, the... Um, excuse me, the uh, Elite Trainer Box pro, uh, promo. So, yeah, as a fun little addendum. It's still winter. And this is not a particularly thick hoodie. This is a great kind of late spring, early summer hoodie. When it's just chilly enough that you still need a hoodie when you go out. But you don't need a fat hoodie. This is perfect for that kind of weather. You will notice it is not that kind of weather right now. Um, I am honestly sometimes a little bit cold because I'm wearing this hoodie. But when your adorable two-year-old son... Is shouting Munchlax hoodie at you. Oh, what do we got? Torterra EX. Nice. Love that one. What are you going to do? Not wear the Munchlax hoodie? Nah, mate. We are going to wear the Munchlax hoodie every single day, even though it's a little bit too cold. Uh, and if anyone thinks that story is weird, trust me. As soon as you've got kids, all this stuff starts making perfect sense. Wearing a hoodie that's really a little bit too cold for the weather... Just because it will make your son happy for about 10 seconds. Yep. Standard dad move. Love me some Snom. Love that Pikachu. What the, Now, one of the cool things about this set. We get back to more talk about the set. Let's talk about Munchlax hoodies. Buddy Buddy Poffins. Phenom or Poffin, phenomenal card. Going to see a redonk amount of play. Uh, one of the really cool things about this set. Firstly, it's a big set. But secondly, it becomes legal at the European International Championships, EUIC, which is the same day 
that um what do we call it kicks in um oh where am i going with this rotation that's what i'm looking for so literally we get rotation and this set both on the same day and it's gonna be so good eui oh there's my ride on phenomenal card that single energy 40 damage plus accelerate two energy yeah that is just an absolutely stunning card that we absolutely love. Going to see a huge amount of play. Big team, big play at the moment with Iron Crown, the Cabalion Paradox Pokemon over in Japan. I'm putting these energy to one side. We don't need them on the, we don't need them on the map. So yeah, it's going to be a big set. It's going to come in with Rotation and EUIC. And they did it last year as well with Scarlet and Violet Base. EUIC is going to be nuts in the best possible way because it is literally going to be oh 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 first ace back neo upper energy and uh, there's nothing else in it so it takes so uh, for those of you wondering ace back takes the first on uh excuse me hollow the first reverse hollow slot there we go that's what it that's what they look like the english version they got very nice foiling pattern on because I showed you the Japanese versions previously. This is of the seven A specs in the set. It is definitely the worst. Inarguably, the, well, if you look at least at tournament results in Japan, because they've had for a couple of months these A specs. If you look at tournament results in Japan, and you look at what's kind of seen play, Neo Upper Energy is very clearly the worst A spec in the set. And there's not really a huge counter argument. Like, there's a Tinkerton deck that's been playing it, that's gotten top eight in a couple of city leagues. When that's the best we can say, it's not a great look. Oh, and there's a Coridon. That is another card I absolutely adore from this set. It is the one that does 30 damage for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. And obviously, you know, especially with, like, your Professor Sardis Vitality, you attach an energy from hand... Then you use uh, Professor Sada's Vitality to attach a second energy. And then turn one going second, you can be hitting up to 180 damage. And realistically, you're not hitting 180, yeah? Because you've got, um, uh, where are we going with this? You know, you're going to have some support Pokemon out there. Oh, that's a nice card. It's a very nice card. That is our artwork rare, your illustration rare, Metagross. Now. I will say this makes me a tiny bit sad. And the reason it makes me a tiny bit sad is because it's pretty well established in English booster boxes. We get free illustration rares per box. And I told you I want the Excadrill and the Litten. Now, there's 24 in the set. Well, no, there's 22. There are 24, but two of them are in the Elite Trainer Boxes promos. So there's 22 in the set. Chances of getting the two I wanted out of the three were very slim. Don't care. Wanted them. So I love the Metagross. The Metagross is lovely. But there is a part of me that's just kind of like, oh, there, there's Metagross again. There is a part of me that's just like, oh, and there's Iron Valiant as well. Nice. Matches my mat. So yeah, there is a part of me that's a little bit sad because it means I'm not getting both Excadrill and, um, and Litten. Although it's funny because Excadrill gets the illustration rare and is the evolution... But just to be perfectly clear, the, the better Pokemon by a mile is Drillba with that ability that discards energy. Like, by, by a country mile, Drillba's better. And it's funny, I saw there was a Garchomp uh, EX deck that did really well in Japan. And it, it did play Excadrill. Oh, yeah, there's two Iron Valiant in the set. Uh, the reason there's two Iron Valiant in the set is because this is made up of a double set in Japan. And then there's the Karidon and Maraidon on the EX boxes. So, there's one in the Maridon box, and then there's one in the set, and that's why we end up with two. Anything cool in this? Oh, yes! Hey, it's that Iron Crown thing that I mentioned. It's got a phenomenal ability that lets your future Pokemon do an extra 20 damage. So, yeah. It, it, and it stacks. So, if you've got multiple Iron Crown, you can be doing, well, with four Iron Crown and a future boost energy capsule, you can... If you don't mind having like one extra bench slot and that's it. You can legit add a 100 damage to your future Pokemon's attacks. Which is clearly Radonk. So yeah. 
Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking this box so far. No massive hits so far. We've got ourselves a full art walking wake is the best we pulled. But there's plenty of time to go. Hey, there's your Kato Metal Metal. Love it. So we've still, got a, we've still got a bunch of packs to go. We've got two to go and then we're halfway. So we've got plenty of packs to open. We've had uh, some EXs. I think, have we already hit? No, we hit three EXs. Two illustration rares. An A spec and a full art. That's the other thing. Like with A specs nowadays, the amount of, you know, cool cards in the set that you can actually pull from packs it's just increased massively which i love so we've got colossal we got arbok and another iron thorns nice right one pack to go and then we are halfway through our first booster box of temporal forces seriously i like i know sometimes i might say it a bit flippantly but please know i understand how lucky i am how fortunate i am that Pokemon just like randomly send me booster boxes of the new set before the pre-release. Please don't ever... Oh, there's something cool in here. There's something cool in here. There's something gold in here. Ah, oh, it's my boy. Love it. And of course, because it is a gold star card, it takes an uncommon slot. Now, if this takes a second uncommon slot, does that mean it is theoretically possible... That you could pull an ace back in your first reverse holo slot, a gold star card in your second reverse holo slot, and then something like a full art in your third, in like in your rare slot. I think it might be. I think you might be able to get completely busted packs. I told you, I told you, uh, second half of the box now, I told you that Raging Bolt was my favourite of the Paradox Pokemon. I told you that was one I wanted. You did see a little bit of a jump in the video there. Uh, my, my lovely daughter came to tell me it was tea time, which is very kind of her. But um, we're opening a box of Temporal Forces here. Tea is going to have to wait. What do we got? We got a Knockdower, we got a Chatot, and we got a Whimsicott. Uh, I have, incidentally, completely forgotten what I was talking about before that. So, <laughs> if it was something really important, you'll have to come and tell me, all right? So, we are going to try and go a little bit faster through the second half of the box. We don't want this video going on forever. But I still want to show you all the lovely new cards from Temporal Forces. Of course, I can't show you. Oh, there's the Excadrill. I think it's the first one we pulled. Uh, so, I started telling you earlier, this um, this Garchomp deck, it played Excadrill. And the Excadrill isn't good, let's be perfectly clear. Like, free energy, 180 plus 50 to itself. But it played the Drillbur to get energy in the discard because... Garchomp accelerates from the discard. And I was chatting with uh, the lovely Antoine Boulet about this. And both of us had the same thought, which was basically, no one's playing the Excadrill because it's good. That Excadrill is seeing play in the deck because it's basically a single prize attacker and you're playing the basic. Anyway, what do we get? Oh, Gengar EX. Need to get some more sleeves going on. So it, it's a weird one where it's kind of like, it's not actually good. Uh, and no one, like if it wasn't for the Drillbur, nobody would be playing Excadrill. Like nobody would be playing Excadrill. But because you're already playing the Drillbur and it's nice to have a single prize attacker, you end up playing the Excadrill, not because it's good and you want to, oh, I dropped a card, but just because like you might as well. There's your Iron Valiant. We've got Turtonator. Meryl, and a nut. That's three Roaring Moon we got so far. I need four to make a deck. Um, we've only had we've seen, we've seen one Coridon and three Roaring Moon. The good news is, now that you get um a Hollow in every pack, it's just, it's so much easier to just pull them. And the prices for Hollows just absolutely plummet. And it's lovely. So, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, Full Art Salvatore. It's weird. I made a video yesterday in which I showed off Full Art Salvatore and Illustration Rem Metagross. <laughs> and now I'm just, I'm pulling all the cards that I made a video about yesterday, which is kind of cool. Uh, right, we're doing all right. We've hit two Full Arts and one Gold card. We've hit one Ace spec. There should be one Illustration Rare remaining. We've had a bunch of EXs. We are getting towards, like, numbers-wise, in terms of number of hits, 
we are doing pretty gosh darn well. I'm still not sure we've seen big hits yet. But maybe there's some coming later on. We got a Haunter and a Fluttermane. Still got a bunch of packs remaining, so don't worry your pretty little heads about it, ladies and gentlemen. There are still plenty more chances to go and grab something cool. I love that Hyganasuke Finizen. I know I've told you before, I stand by it. It is a beautiful, beautiful card. We've got Pikachu, Buddy Buddy Poffin is a great card. Zara Aura, Sharpedo. Oh, there was a Reverse Hollow as a Marilyn there. We've got Eri and a Feraligator that is, incidentally, one of your pre-release promos. Uh, the pre-release promos, and it is clearly, I told you this the other day, it is very clearly the worst of the pre-release promos. I don't even think that's a particularly controversial statement. I think it is quite clearly, I dropped a code card, the worst of the pre-release promos. There's my boy Drillba again. Have I drawn, have I pulled more Roaring Moon than Drillba so far? Also, you better believe I'm going to be testing this Garchomp Excadrill deck on... TCG Live. Oh, I pulled. Now, I love getting... I would collect the reverse hollows of the artists I enjoy. So, I don't think that's the first one we've actually pulled of one of my favourite artists so far, you know? I think that's the first one we've had. But, it is a Kato Boltund. It is a Kato card. So, it gets sleeved straight away. Because that one's going in my Kato collection. Ah, uh, we are starting to run out of packs a little bit. We've got like nine left. That's quite a few packs. Still waiting for a big hit. We've not hit a special illustration rare yet. They are, of course, the best cards. I suppose nominally Bianca is probably the biggest card in the set. If I had to put, uh, if I had to kind of narrow it down, I'd probably say Bianca's the biggest one. Oh, there's no. Oh, there's another A spec. Oh my word! What a. Oh, okay. So both. I didn't get any reverse hollows in that pack. None. Because one of my reverse hollows was a maximum belt, and one of my reverse hollows was a ghastly. Uh, maximum belt is a good A spec. Gets played in Giratina decks. It basically means you do four, uh, 50 more to an EX. But Giratina hits 280, and Charizard's got 330. So that extra 50 damage is huge. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could actually get free, and the ghastly obviously is a stunning card. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could actually get three hits in a pack. I believe it's possible to get an ace spec and a gold star card, whether that's an illustration rare, special illustration rare, or gold card, and then a kind of full art EX whatever in your last slot. Oh, love that. And a second Maridon. That is the lovely... I told you how much I love that Hyganasuke Finizen. One of my favorite cards artwork-wise in the set. We got the reverse hollow. Jobs are good and Now, friend of mine, the lovely Joe from Cerebi.net, he told me that he got um two A specs in his box. So, also got gifted one by Pokemon, obviously. So, I'm wondering if two A specs per box is standard, in which case I've not done great from my two A specs. <laughs> oh, Rev Hollow Excadrill and Maridon EX. That's the Maridon EX from the Maridon deck. Over in Japan. So, that's a pretty cool card to pull. Obviously, I haven't mentioned these yet, so let me mention them now. Really want to pull a Full Art Iron Boulder. And I really want to pull a Reboot Pod. And the reason I want to pull those two cards is because they are the two cards I got to reveal the other day. I am delighted that Pokemon gave me official reveals from this set. I was... See, the second Great Tusk. Now, the good one, the one I mentioned is a good mill deck. That was from the set in Japan. This is from the Koridon box. It's easy to remember which was a... Oh, yes! Now, for most of you, this wouldn't be a big deal. That is my Okacheke Turtwig. I told you I want the cards of my artists I love. This might be, artwork-wise, my favorite card in the set. I love the Finizen, but this Okacheke Turtwig is next level. And Okacheke is my literal favorite artist. So, yeah. Pulling that Turtwig is amazing. I love it. I sometimes get comments on my videos. People telling me they really like watching the openings. Because I get really excited not just about cars that might be worth something. <laughs> but things like, hey, it's a reverse hollow of my favorite artist. Makes me happy. There's your Rabska. 
A second Coridon with that lovely primordial beatdown attack. Love that one. So we have four packs remaining. I'm not expecting any more Ace Spec, but it'd be a nice surprise if we did. I'm not expecting any more Illustration Rare. And look, we've already hit a full art Pokemon, a full art supporter, and a gold Pokemon. As well as a mess of EXs. It's brilliant. That's my first Bianca's Devotion, I think. But I would like one more big hit to finish. That'd be nice. Another Iron Valiant. The Iron Valiant have been coming out thick and fast, which is very nice given my map. Seriously, the fact that it, it only occurred to me today that I should be um, theming my mats around the opening. It's frankly embarrassing. But hey-ho, this is how we learn. So we've got Skitty and Delcat. Wait, okay. Skitty and Delcati coming out the pack right next to each other. That's actually extremely cool. Went up in the evolution line. Don't see that too often. There's an Iron House. We've got a Bronzor. A Bronzong, sorry. Roserade and another Kato Melmetal. Two packs remaining. Is there one more big hit coming out? I would very much like it if that were the case. Also, shout out to Delivery Driver today. Because I, I had an inkling this might be coming. And then I heard that obviously, you know, someone else had got one. And I thought I was going to get one. And then it didn't arrive. And then I had to go pick my kids up from school. Oh! It's not the full art Iron Boulder, but it is Iron Boulder. I like that. It's one of my, that's my other favorite Paradox Pokemon because I'm a big Terrakian fan. And, um, and obviously, as you might imagine, it did arrive while I was picking my kid up from school. And they left it outside my house. Which, it's, it's, it, they left it out the way. I didn't think anyone was going to nick it. But there's another world in which they don't leave it. And I don't get to open this box today. So, shout out to Delivery Driver for leaving it so that I can pick it up. Right. Very final pack. Last pack. Any magic? We've got Foratress. we got Keldeo. And a Bramblegast. Well, a bit of a whimper pack to end. But, I mean, I, I think we did pretty well out of this box. Feels like we did pretty well out of this box. So, Illustration Rares. we got ourselves a Ghastly. A Metagross. And a Drampa. Plus, we got a couple of A specs. It seems like two per box. Please do not quote me on that. Then we got the Gold Raging Bolt. And the Full Art Salvatore. And the Full Art Walking Wake. And then we ended up with six regular EXs as well. I'm counting the Terra as regular EXs. So I think I did pretty well. I want to know what you think. I want to know what your hits are. Actually, firstly, one more shout out to the lovely folks at Pokemon Company International. Sending this box over to me. That was awesome. I'm delighted. Tell me what your chase cards are for the set. Tell me if you're going to a pre-release. And then when you've been to the pre-release, come back. I mean this. I'm not joking about this. Come back to this video and leave a comment telling me what you pulled and how your pre-release went. I want to come home tomorrow after being out with my kids. I want to see all of your pre-release story promos in the comments. That would be amazing. Come back and tell me your stories. That would be awesome. And yeah, go nuts in the comment section would be nice. And then the usual deal, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching... A very excited early PTCG radio. Bye.